Oh, we are live right now on the Love Gurus Podcast. Thank you to everybody for being here. We are going to take insane, depraved dating questions from the wild animals on Reddit starting right now. Take your love life is going kind of bad. Well, it's summertime. Yep, yep, yep. Summertime sadness. your girlfriend accidentally banged your dad. Especially sad about that one. <laughs> take your romance, maybe ain't the norm. Find out your fiance has been slipping it to your mom. I don't want to conform to your rules anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this song isn't personal at all. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the love gurus or your life is through. Oh shit. Love. This is for the European listeners. <laughs> yes, yes. We're, we're getting the, 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 the listeners down south yeah. and then the listeners out on Steinway Street with their cars double parked, <laughs> smoking hookah. Oh, this is the Love Gurus Podcast. Thank you to everybody for being here. We are going to be taking the most insane dating questions we can find on Reddit and more importantly, from you guys in the chat, yeah. we want your comments as well. Uh, we're live every single Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, unless I'm slow and having tech problems, which honestly, almost on time tonight, you Pretty, know? Very close. I think Ooh. we definitely need to give ourselves a pat on the back. Yes, so. I will do that. I'm patting the balls <laughs> off of my back right now. Uh, but most of all, people, remember to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. It's the only thing that keeps our podcast alive. Yeah. Your likes, your subscribes, share them with a friend. And uh, tell them tell them to listen live because we want the we want the comments as well. But uh, Suzanne, how was your trip? Oh, it was great. I uh, I was in Hawaii. Nice. Uh, and then, but I I know that you communicated to our listeners that I also went on some sort of PizzaGate tour. And yeah. Yeah. I it's mean, <laughs> every state there's a PizzaGate in every state. That's that's the uh, that's the logo on the side of the Infowars that's, bus. That's, that's actually you know. how I got to Hawaii. Right. It was a very it was a very long swim from California to LAX, but I were to um. To Hawaii, but I didn't know if there was a pizza parlor along the way. That's right. Know. Starts in Maine, ends in Hawaii. I've got <laughs> a pizza gate never stay. I did a very <laughs> thorough check, so yeah, it's yeah. So, um, but I'm back. Do awesome, doing the Lord's, Lord's work, work out there. <laughs> yes, so funny. yes. Uh, not only is Suzanne back, but we have two awesome. Hilarious guest. Oh, Joel on YouTube says, me and my sister slash wife love the love gurus. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fucking A, dude. And we love you, man. Joel on YouTube. Nice. We love Joel. Uh, for those of you listening on SoundCloud, iTunes, or Stitcher, anywhere else. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, oh, Joanne on YouTube debate. says, your wife is your sister. Yeah. I, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's legal wherever he's at. Nothing goes. You know? Why are you surprised? <laughs> Nothing goes above him. Yeah, it's either legal where he's at, or they're goddamn rebels. You know, yeah. breaking the law. But uh, we have two hilarious guests. First up, he, he is a returning guest to the podcast, a Larry stand-up co comic, Mr. Igor Martinez. Hey, Thank you hey. Show. so glad to be back. Thank you for being back, man. Tell awesome. them where they can find you. Uh, you know, uh, the whole thing: Twitter, Instagram, the Igor Martinez. There you go. What's yeah. TikTok? I don't got no shit, man. I, I got no shit. <laughs> I, I only I only talk to underage girls in real life. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, wow. Well, way to be upfront about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. There's been no record. It's all alleged. <laughs> it's on TikTok. It's up You're not going to get busted for a screenshot no. like Chris Dahlia. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. His I'm old handle used to, to be at allegedly Igor Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to have fucking Suzanne fucking find me in the bottom of a pizza shop. No, 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 no. I knew it. <laughs> He's the only man that eats pineapple with mushrooms. <laughs> That's a disgusting thing even for people that do eat mushrooms or eat uh, pineapple on pizza. Bam. Gotcha, Igor. That is gross. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, Joel on YouTube says only on the weekends at Joanne on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to be these two talking about <laughs> <laughs> incest uh, all the time. It's a dating podcast. You, uh, it is. Po yeah. You're just like, you're going to bring them together. It is. Yeah. But, well, they're married to separate people, but but who knows? Maybe they could have, create know. like a Mormon compound of some well, kind. Well, here's another know. question. What if your wife is named sister? You know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh this yeah, is yeah. my Ooh. wife's Ooh. sister. Yeah. A lot like, of people being named uh, different things. That would be really confusing. That'd be yeah. worse than being named, you know, a boy named Sue. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Or it, like, yeah. If your name was Aunt, I could be like, "This is my girlfriend, Aunt." <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be that would be bad, you know. And, and then her last name is something that that sounds like a like a regular name. Like, this is my girlfriend, Aunt Mary. You know, yeah. and it's like, oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Whoops. Yeah. 
<laughs> but uh, we have another hilarious guest, a hilarious stand-up comic. First time on the show, Mr. Natan Bavlov. Thank yeah. you for being here. Bro. Yeah. Hey. Tell I'm them where they can TikTok, find TikTok, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Dude, TikTok. You. It's going to be the end of you. Bavlov. That's right. Talking <laughs> to children. That's what's up. There you go. <laughs> yeah, no. Talking to him because on TikTok because he can't get within 200 feet of him in real life. Yeah. Yo, if you persistence, if, if you get caught talking to underage girls, they're gonna use this fucking sample right now. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he was so proud. How could no one know that he was doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Hiding in plain sight. Actually, my wife's name is brother. <laughs> oh, uh, Joel on YouTube is actually my name's wife is brother. You really need to come to. Oh, oh come on! Yo, no, you coward! Oh, wow. you <laughs> You really need to up. read again. Hey, it it said you really you had to... you had to tip him off that the police watch this podcast. Damn, <laughs> people, people listen on SoundCloud, on iTunes, all the all the audio platforms. You gotta it, get on YouTube. That's man. why you, you got the glasses. Live. It said you really need to come to Alabama, Suzanne. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Going. Yeah, it. Uh, I mean, glasses really change your face, and so you can. Uh... I can see every comment that's being put up. Oh. <laughs> Don't even think that you can delete it without being noticed. Yeah, I'm dude. The fastest comment reader in the West. Kapow, pow, pow. <laughs> you don't get to choose your superpowers, man. We can just read the hell out of these comments. Right, right so <laughs> <laughs> Amy on YouTube says, what did I just come into in these comments? Just came into some uh, future love. It's, it's, it's getting wild. Getting wild on, on the podcast. Romantic but, incest. Yes, yes. 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 That's um, the only kind we no. here on the Love Gurus podcast support. Casual incest? <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. He, I, it was just brother. an edit. Uh, really uh, Joel on YouTube says, on. Actually, my wife's name is Brother. You really should come and visit Alabama, Suzanne. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's either a, a person or because there's no comma. It's Alabama, Suzanne. Ah, uh, maybe that's oh. um, maybe that's my wrestling nickname. I you know, when I was when I was back in the ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here maybe, comes maybe. Alabama, <laughs> Suzanne. <laughs> oh. I was like 250 pounds heavier. It was D- awesome. DDS. <laughs> One time I beat up my paw in an alligator at the same time. <laughs> Fuck you. Where's my cold? Uh, uh, you got to do the uh, shit. What's the Copenhagen? Yeah. There you oh, go. That's right, the chew right, reference yeah. I was yeah, going yeah. for. The, yeah, the slap. The, the, the slaps. Yeah. 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 Uh, Joel on YouTube says, I only deleted it because I didn't capitalize brother. <laughs> there you go. There you go. We strive for perfection uh, yeah. on that. Yes. We, God damn right. Uh, yeah. Um, that's, that's an honest man. Yeah. And speaking of striving for perfection, uh, none of the people who wrote questions in this week did are. Um, but that doesn't mean that we aren't going to help them. Uh, because I would say if there were a theme to this week, it is uh, do not do not get married. It does that like do, yes. not, do not go through with it. I've only been married for like half a year, and it's been goddamn awful. You know, <laughs> it has been goddamn awful. That's why you got her pregnant, right? It, yeah. I, mean, I just need someone else to talk to. I, dude, I need someone Maybe to I'm have gonna... my side in this. And he's going to be, he's going to be like my little spy. Like, yeah, the, yeah. who's my little witness? Who's daddy's little, who's daddy's little testimony giver? <laughs> <laughs> she made a grumpy in daddy's bed, didn't she? <laughs> just like Amber Heard. Yes, she did. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, Tim on YouTube says, uh, Alabama Suzanne rocks. <laughs> Joel on YouTube says, bro. I'm worried about proper use of capitals, and you're busting my balls over punctuation. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Damn, man. Yeah. I already made an enemy. Oh, yeah. it's, uh, we, we started talking about wrestling. It's starting yeah, to get right. aggro in the yeah, chat. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. We're here for the yeah. drama. Right. <laughs> um, and yet, we also need to plug our fifth member of the podcast. Yes, yes. Let's take our first question from the Wild Animals on Love Guru's podcast. But first, let's hear from our fifth unofficial member of the podcast. That is the wine. Do you want a delicious wine to go perfect with your Sunday? Then you can't do better than Creos from Argentina. I founded Creos as a tribute to my children, Jose and Anna. Together, we crafted wines to be enjoyed across generations and to represent values we strive to instill in our own families. I am sleeping with my wife slash sister. What? No. <laughs> now, uh, Creos Torrentes reminds me to break the rule. Reminds us to break the rules that tinkering <laughs> with assumptions can lead to rewards, oh, like wow. seeing a common blending grape. Become Argentina's star white wine. Wow. That's right, Argentina. (laughs) Creos Torrentes is sourced from the highest Andean vineyards, both in elevation 
averaging 5.600 feet. Inches. That's right. <laughs> this wine is hung like a donkey several <laughs> times over. <laughs> it is a crisp, refreshing, and aromatic with a bouquet of citrus fl- fruits, passion fruits, lychee, and white flowers, lively acidity, and a hint of creaminess and a long mineral finish add depth and balance to the palate. Creos, get you some! Now let's take our first question from the wild animals on Reddit people. Remember, wherever you are, watch live Thursdays at every th- uh, at every single Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Yeah. Eastern. And like and subscribe. Whoa, like and whoa. subscribe. Do it, do it now. Share us with a friend. Now let's take our first question from the wild animals on Reddit. First question. My dad doesn't understand that he's the reason I like <laughs> older men. Oh, I'm 27 oh, and my wow. dad is my, I'm 27 and my dad is 61. Growing up, my dad was pretty tough on me. He Why do me. you have father issues? Oh yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> but starting at age 11, he made me help him with his projects after school and that sometimes they were very dangerous. I was even hurt a couple times helping him with these jobs. He's ne- he never gave me time to do homework because I had to help him even though he said that I should do well at school. Eventually, I didn't even graduate high school, and I felt very neglected. Mm. I wanted a positive male figure in my life. Mm-hmm. Guys my age weren't very nice to me either, so I found comfort in the idea of being with an older man. I wanted guidance and support and someone to be proud of me. I moved away from home and met my fiancé four years ago. He's 40 years older. Whoa! Uh, Dang. I was expecting like oh, sorry. 20 at sorry. Best. Actually, you know, I, no, he's 40 years old. Ooh. Okay. okay. Oh, I was going to oh, say. Okay. She has grandpa issues. Uh, turns out the dad was fine, but the grandpa, total fucking dick. Every time he'd st- she'd stay over. Yeah. Uh, he gives me the kind of love that I, fi- I finally got my GED last year, and he was so proud of me. My dad didn't even care. My dad and I had a huge argument a couple weeks ago about our engagement. He doesn't want me to get married and thinks that there's something wrong with me because my fiance is older. I told him that it's his fault that I'm this way. He didn't give me the attention I needed, so I get it from someone else. Oh, you hear that, old man? Damn. Oh, my God. Now he's told all of my family, and they're taking his side. What do I do? This is, uh, so I have to be honest. Spank me. When Tell I, me I'm grounded. You can't go to prom. Oh, my God, oh yeah. Please. When I first read this question, um, I did I did think it said he's 40 years older, yeah, yeah. but 40 years old that's actually like not that big of a difference. Twenty-seven to forty. I mean, that's just oh, you th- found uh, stability. Are you, sh- are you sure she's twenty-seven? Did she say she's twenty-seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She oh, says she's okay. twenty-seven. Yeah. Oh, so, well, that does. Yeah. But I mean, I guess like what's you know? So she was twenty, twenty-three. He was thirty-six, and they got to, that's still that's thirteen that years is not that big of an age difference. So no, in my it, head, it maybe kind of is at twenty-three and thirty-six. Like at, at that young of age, it kind of is, but that's not. Crazy. But now that the, it's been four years, like yeah. you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's like that bad. No. Um, but y- you know, again, she's saying I want to date an older man. Mm. Be- she's almost saying like she doesn't actually. She's not naming any attributes that her her fiance has other than and, and he. Older. She got her GED, and he was like, "Great, yeah, you probably should <laughs> yeah. get." A GED that seems yeah, sensible. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. oh my God, what? I just came. Tell <laughs> me about making responsible yeah. s- decisions. It's so hot. Yeah. She's like, oh, I actually filed my taxes for one. She's like, good job, babe. I yeah, love yeah. you. I mean, yeah. how, you know, so she's attributing this to saying, okay, well, her father was, you know, this dick growing up. And so that's why mm. she is doing this. It's, so, I mean, I could see it two ways. One of like, you know, maybe she does really like this guy because he is supportive and he is a great partner. But this whole like, <laughs> oh, I like him so much because of my dad. It's, I mean, that's it's the part that seems. It's not about the person. Yeah, it's oh, not no, about no, the yeah. person. Yeah. So are you really in this relationship because you like that person or you're just trying to spite your dad? Because that's, that's another true. thing. That's true. I feel bad even for if, this guy. He sounds nice, even right? Even if he, oh, this yeah, he, the guy could be totally just like, listen, like you're very <laughs> nice. mature for your age. I'm immature for my age. We meet in the middle. And she's like, I'm dating you to get back at my father. It's like, wait, what? Like, yeah, that's no. a weird one. No, yeah. this guy's this guy's fucking her, and she's like, tell me your, tell me, <laughs> <laughs> tell me you want to <laughs> kiss me, you know, walk forehead. me down the aisle. Like, wait, what? Yeah. It sounds like she's dating just to have that spiteful conversation yeah. at the end that you were. Yeah, I think weird. so too. Yeah, yeah where yeah. you you're doing something just to you know just to spite your parents. It's yeah. like you it's, know, it's not about him. 
It's no. it could be any forty year old. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. And I just want to say that I'm 34. <laughs> Miss, go. And go. a little bit younger. She uh-huh. just she just went in and put a couple quarters in the forty year old man machine and boom, they he popped yeah. out. Yeah. They're yeah. just they're like everywhere. There's like forty year old oh, single guys that's true. everywhere. Uh, as a guy who's pushing forty. <laughs> I'm tired of being used by these <laughs> early 20-something hooers that are just trying to get... You're using me as an aged, graying piece of meat, and I don't like it. Oh, my God. I also That's feel so like funny. these people aren't Southern, because I feel like in Southern culture, be like, wow, you found some Because, I mean, he arguably has more stability with her, considering she just got her GED. You know, yeah, they would probably yeah. be, like, ecstatic. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, like, her dad is, like, I don't know, some Montanan farmer you know That's like true he's uh you know working her to the bone making her herd cattle working at 11 uh-huh. she got hit by a steer and he's like well johnny knoxville does it every week pumpkin true. you're gonna be bad she's like i only have one lung <laughs> oh I'm, I'm behind on some comments uh, uh is it by the way is that like is that oh is that a weird thing or is that a normal thing to just admit that you have daddy issues because of your dad? Well, you got to admit it to overcome it. And plus, if you, if it's right. daddy issues from somebody that's not your dad, yeah, I yeah, feel that's... like that's really unfair to your dad. Yeah. He's sitting at home in an argyle <laughs> yeah. sweater, you, you know, like like writing you a Christmas card. <laughs> what do you mean she just she's on a podcast saying she's got daddy issues? But I was perfect, <laughs> and it's like now oh, it's from this guy Ron. It's just yeah. a it's just a blanket term she's using. You were perfect. It's just all the other older dudes in his life in her life were scum. Oof. Also, I feel it's a good. Good Hallmark card for for dads who have uh, you, you know really done a good job is like like a good Father's Day one would be a thank you dad I am attracted to only age appropriate <laughs> men you know like that yeah. that's the yeah. bad, that's what yeah. every dad wants every, that that's the that's the commercial just a dad going yeah uh-huh. wiping a tear <laughs> and the camera zooms on the card <laughs> they have the same birthday yeah. <laughs> There's like a sad country song by like an aging star who was big in the 90s yeah. who's singing about his daughter. Yeah. And it's just all about her sleeping with guys who are also in their 30s, you know? Yeah, but then and he's just, he's weeping at this. But then it's like, yeah, they have the same birth year, but then the guy's like, you want to play video games? Like, fuck, why can't she fucking fuck someone who's like 10 years older than her? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, I mean, again, yeah, she's, she's sort of blaming this on her dad. And I get like that feeling of, you know, she wasn't supported. She had these terrible parents etc and also some parents believe you know in that hard work and to the point where it's like yeah like that's not appropriate for an 11 year old but yeah it's not i mean i guess i did it's... masonry when i was 12 that was my first job uh, oh wow no, that's with my right. dad my grandma yeah it was it was it was backbreaking dude we would wake up Ooh. at like dawn every day and uh, in Wake the summer, Don, that's how you know and, how it's bad. You don't, you yeah. don't give a number. No, <laughs> yeah, you just it's, say it's yeah. a word. As I soon as Don. the rooster gets a boner, <laughs> we're out the fucking door doing manual labor just, until you cry, like... and then I hit you, and then you keep working. Yeah. Yeah. Someone comes out and they see they see Jake building twelve year old Jake building a chimney on the top <laughs> of the house. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. Not it. it yes, he's twelve, but also he's putting bricks on the top yeah. of my house, yeah. Yeah. like. How yeah. safe is that? Oh, dude, um, I would. They would be the I, ones actually doing the bricks. I would carry the bricks and the cinder blocks to them. And what was even worse than carrying all the bricks and the cinder block was mixing the cement. Yeah, oh, because dude, yeah. we didn't have like a cement mixer. It was, was just a. It was a oh, company. Wow. It was just my grandpa. Yeah, my yeah, my dad and my uncle. And so it was just these big troughs where you would just do buckets of sand oh, wow. and water and these these and giant mix. gray bags of cement mix and you would have to take a gardening hoe and mix that shit together until it was wow. all cement. And then pour and it in it a was, bucket, carry yeah. the buckets. Oh, yeah. dude, yeah. it was fucking bad. It was grueling, man. Wait, so this has to do with the dating a 40-year-old. That's why I fuck older men now. <laughs> And every time my wife gets mad at me, I'm like, you didn't see what I had to do when I was 12. Oh, 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 I, I, don't even, I don't even enjoy this sexually. I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like, sending selfies Daddy, to my dad. I, Daddy, can I please prostitute myself at the gas station rather than help you with your masonry work? Look what else I'm doing for less than minimum wage, father. <laughs> You're but, fucking an older man as a 12-year-old boy just mixing cement. Why? Why? <laughs> and the cat's in the cradle in the middle of a spoon. Yeah. Yeah. But also, so I here's a question, and this is probably just me being dumb, but I also thought that daddy issues had to be had more to do with 
the father who's like completely not present you know it's like yeah. a, a single yeah. mom yeah. raising the kids yeah. that i thought was more but i guess like you it's know a all, shitty father a is always yeah, you'll, yeah. You'll, get, yeah. you'll get issues no, if, you'll get a lot it, of issues from both i feel oh yeah sorry go oh ahead. no go ahead. go ahead no it's like if someone's standing there just not talking to you when you expect them to that's probably fucking yeah uh, yeah. yeah sure 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 yeah, yeah that's annoying. That makes sense. so i should say something to man that stands in my bedroom and doesn't <laughs> yeah. say just anything looks at to you me. just stands it he just has this like video recorder it's so weird yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my dad didn't record Daddy? anything i did but Let me, it, I i'll would, set a reminder my phone to say something when i get back <laughs> I would, yeah i would sometimes wake up and he'd be in my room going it's dawn time to do mason <laughs> and, and that equal in a different way it was equally pretty yeah. bad here's yeah. here's uh, no, it's funny because i i my dad was when i was younger he'd always like because i like ran track he'd always like wake me up in the morning to go run with him or yeah. whatever and i always hated it because i was like oh you know i don't want to fucking get yeah. up and you know run in the morning uh-huh. And this one time, he, he, you know, so I always think of these excuses in my head. And so this one morning, he knocks on my door and he's like, Sue, it's time to get up. And I go, Dad, I'm so tired today. I don't want to go for a run because I'm scared I'm going to step on a duck. <laughs> scared I'm going to step on a duck? I, I told him I couldn't go running because I was so tired that I was scared I would step on a duck and kill him. What did he, he, just, he just goes, whatever it walks away and i was like boom <laughs> got out of the morning run nice. and then yeah. later he thought that i was dreaming and yeah. oh i wasn't dreaming yeah. i was scheming Played i was him. scheming Played. <laughs> Played. no he was secretly going out like he wasn't even going running he's like oh fuck dude i think my daughter's slow learning i need to, uh, <laughs> I need to find a special school or something like this is cra- a step on a duck she that's crazy that she's gonna like to <laughs> step on a running duck. <laughs> We're not even native to our area. What is she talking about? <laughs> we don't. We, we, there's not a duck within three states. What is <laughs> she talking about? But he decides to get you over it like the old school 80s dad way. You know, going to make you smoke the whole carton. Yeah. Like, yeah you like yeah. that stuff smeared on the top of that steak, yeah. do you? It, guess what that is? <laughs> whack, whack, qu- foie gras. <laughs> we tortured a cute little ducky to death and then ate its liver. We yes. put it on your steak. Stretching on a duck's neck. Step on it. Step on it. <laughs> <laughs> Step on it. <laughs> Santa Claus wants you to kill this duck. Do it or you won't get presents. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm way behind the comments. Way behind. Uh, let's see. Tim on YouTube says, if common law... Th- these are old comments, so I'm reading a little farther back. Uh, if common law were a thing, then I'd be married. Mm. Uh, Joel on YouTube says, Tim, common law... S- s- oh, oh, common sense isn't a thing anymore, so common law shouldn't be either. That's, That's pretty funny. He says, hi, Amy. Uh, they're saying hi to each other. Um, <laughs> said, hope the baby is doing well. Yes, Aww. yes, yes. Uh, okay, so Amy on YouTube says... some nice fans. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, they're the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Amy on YouTube says, you <laughs> people I, who are... very rare to I know, but the oh, next, yeah, yeah, next yeah. comment is like, go fucking kill yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're all ugly as fuck and I hope you die. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be... That's, 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 that's going to be a normal podcast. Yeah, here, right. You know. Uh, oh, thank God. I just hate watch it for, <laughs> for years. <laughs> you didn't know everything about your life. They're doing callbacks to episodes like two yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah. And it's like, you know what you said? That wasn't funny. And it's like, wow, I, went, I don't even remember saying that. Yeah. Uh, Amy on YouTube says, you people in there 40 are, who, who oh, are wow. 40 are gross. Uh, Joel on YouTube says, 40 years old versus 40 years older is a big difference. 40 years older means the only love she's Given is a thank you for the fresh biscuits and a credit card. <laughs> Damn. Uh, fresh biscuits. T- Tim on YouTube says, I'm 43. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Joel on YouTube says, at Amy on YouTube, so I was gross 15 years ago. What does that make sense? <laughs> what does that, that make, make me now? now? Uh, uh, Joanne on YouTube says, when she says that her dad worked her so much that she didn't have time for homework, uh, was it like, like pimp, pimp work? <laughs> or what? She did say she got hurt a couple <laughs> times. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> listen, I can't take you to the movies. I have to backhand some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would listen. I would love. I know you got a volleyball game, bitch, but I have. I have bitches <laughs> that I need to collect from. Um, I'm smacking my. You smack that ball. I'm smacking bitches. <laughs> uh, Amy on YouTube says. Yeah, as soon as I turned 40, everyone kept telling me I am now disgusting. (laughs) (laughs) Tim on YouTube says she knows the issue. Marriage Uh, marriage is not the answer. Uh, John on YouTube says just sending a hello to the show and viewers. Hey, what's up, John? What's up? Thank you for joining, man. Dude, this this rocks, man. Uh, John on YouTube says aging star big in the 90s. Thanks, Jake. You just reminded me to sign up with AARP. <laughs> yeah. uh, Joanne on YouTube says, 
Uh, if her dad was sending her on an escort at 11, uh, that's what, then, then what do you expect? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Joel on YouTube says, Christ, Jake, just gave me a flashback with the <laughs> cement mixing. <laughs> Please don't mention doing roofing. Uh, I started doing that at seven. God damn. damn. That's oh, fucking man. crazy. Uh, what, Joel just, on nobody, YouTube. Aren't these public places? Nobody's seeing just kids on roofs and shit like that? Dude, it's, <laughs> I mean, hey, man, flyover states. That's the thing. Yeah. It wasn't, wow. a, you know. Yeah. Um, that's right. He's, teach it, him to pull himself up by his bootstraps. I don't care that he's still got Velcro shoes. Like, <laughs> you, it's a fucking thing, dude. God, you dude. mentioned that. I mean, to be fair, Shawshank Redemption does really romanticize roofing. So, yeah. you know, when that yeah, came out, it's like, yeah. that's hey, true. I'm going to get my kid up here. Teach yeah. him not to go to prison. Every time yeah. I would cry or pass out, my dad would be like, you little pussy, Andy Dufresne would have loved this. <laughs> <laughs> Stop whining. We were men that day. <laughs> Mixing the cement was the best part of Andy Dufresne's <laughs> No, thanks. I stopped drinking three years ago. <laughs> Andy Dufresne was sitting next to a 12-year-old little bitch boy named Jake, crying. He said, I hope you don't get locked up whining like that. The sisters will fuck your face. <laughs> Yo. What a deep cut. <laughs> the sisters. <laughs> the sisters. <laughs> I fucking love that movie. <laughs> oh, dude, it's, it's the best, man. Uh, I think I got my first hard on the, the day that my dad brought me home the cement mixer. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, fucking A right, dude. Yeah. 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 Hard Mixing the cement. on cement. Get it? What? Yeah. Uh, boom. Was boom. it his penis or the oh, cement? Oh. No one. No. <laughs> Tim on YouTube says, Daddy issues could be emotional neglect, lack of affection, stern, and cold behavior. Yeah, I mean, it could be either way. It's it's yeah, it's definitely, one, for the most part, one of two extremes. A dad who is like, not around at all or, or, or neglectful or a guy who was around so much that you, you can't get him out of your dreams. So, yeah. I, you know, it's I, it's, it's one <laughs> of the two <laughs> things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I did masonry when I was 19 years old, 18, like 17, 18, 19 years old. And the guy that I did masonry for, I kind of, now that I think about it, it's like I kind of wish he was my dad because I didn't have a I didn't have a dad growing up, and he was the man. Oh wow! Oh, so yeah, that's yeah. like yeah. a yeah. So yeah. that was like a positive experience. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was working for my dad and my grandpa. Like my dad, my grandpa had gotten kind of old by that point, so my dad was kind of running the company, and my my, my grandpa would just kind of work with them still. And at one point, I was oh, sitting there those, talking to my grandpa are... about how little I was getting paid, and I was like, "Grandpa, it's only like four an hour. I mean, you know." That's not even minimum wage here in mm -hmm. Iowa. It was like, at yeah. the time, it was like six something, you know? Yeah. And it would still, in retrospect, not a lot even for the 90s. No, but, you know, <laughs> it's stinks. Iowa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's rent is like $200 a month. So, yeah. like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, but he's like, you're going to pay $4 an hour? And I was like, yeah. He's like, I only paid your cousins too when I was taking oh, over the wow. company. I got to go, go talk yeah. to him. He's spoiling yeah. your kids rotten, wow. you know? Yeah. And, he, <laughs> and I was like, oh, dude, all right. That's right. He's from even a yeah. further back generation than my dad. I got to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so going back to the question, here's my final advice for this person is, um, listen, if your dad isn't a good person and you don't have a good relationship, not everyone needs to be friends with everyone yeah. as you get older. It doesn't sound like you guys have a great relationship. If you are happy, genuinely happy with your fiance and like things about him, not just the fact that he's older, <laughs> which is a question you should ask yourself, yeah. then who cares? Just marry him and be happy. And like, your dad is either going to get over it or just stop talking to him because he sounds like kind of a douchebag. So, I mean, he's that's, a bit of a dick. Yeah, that's yeah. my that's my final advice for this person. What's your what are your guys' final advice? Cool. Um, who? First of all, I want to know, does she call her fiance daddy in the bedroom? Oh, 100 percent. OK, oh, if yeah. he likes it, <laughs> she probably calls her father and then or like her dad's first name or something like she's oh. into yeah. this. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, just fucking move on. That's your yeah. parent, man. Like, fucking stop. All right. Just it's OK. It's over. They've stopped raising you. You're 27 years old. Move on. And yeah. also, it's like figure out if you're actually like this guy or if it's just like resentment towards your father. Yeah. Great advice. Yeah. But also, don't stop calling people daddy. Because that's just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK. Any other final advice? Therapy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just we'll just loads, throw that in there. Loads of therapy. I mean, yeah. I've, been, I've been looking for a new. I've been trying to find a therapist, and you, there really should be a category that says daddy issues. Yeah, because it's, it's yeah, like cognitive yeah. behavior. Uh, uh, there's like you know depressive uh, or you know like yeah, bipolar like disorder. Special, like, yeah, exactly. There should be a thing that says daddy issues, and I think it would be really clarify a lot of people's and issues. You know, what'd okay. be good. Yeah. is if they people write. You know how like on Yelp reviews for restaurants, they uh -huh. say the the. The fucking chicken was great. They should say that for the 
you know, whatever they fixed. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't think about Therapist my dad when get, I fuck yo, or something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, something like that. That would be good. Yeah. I have not called my fiance by my father's first name. Exactly. Since I started with this therapist, I never thought this had happened. Yeah. I, you know, I, I didn't think I'd be able to call, come I, I, unless he was wearing my dad's cologne. I, now, he doesn't have to be wearing brute oral, oral spice. Oh, was I was going to yeah, different... say old spice. Yeah. She's I, like, she walks in nah. the door and it's like, <laughs> not, <laughs> not even Old Spice. I think the women with hardcore daddy issues, they like the smell of brute. You know? Oh, yeah. Brute. That yeah. was that was a fucking dirty old man cologne back then. <laughs> I didn't even know my fiance's first name for three years. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say the therapist that specializes in daddy issues. But the requirement right now, I just got done watching that doc, uh, uh, Our Father, about oh, the, the, yeah. that, that fertility the guy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. No, not the priest, the fertility clinic guy who was using his own sperm oh. and everything and has like hundreds of kids or whatever the fuck. Okay. And I just, the, my biggest takeaway was like, I didn't know it was legal in any state for men to be gynecologists. Like, when the fuck? Oh. No, dude, that should not. And, and, and it, it was doing That's... it in one of those states where it's like, I don't want men deciding their women and using the bathroom they can check my wife's pussy though that's that's <laughs> fucking whatever and i'm like dude what are you what just don't do nothing queer while you're in my wife's pussy and it's dude, like all right, all right dude but that's crazy that's how i'm doing when i'm looking for a therapist i'm like i'm not gonna go to a guy i don't know why i'm just like part of me is just like i'm not gonna go to a guy i was raised by women i have to talk to a woman i have to talk to a woman about yeah. the, my problems Maybe yeah you should go to a therapist to see that yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you like, you got like a Russian, <laughs> like a Russian <laughs> yeah. doll yeah, of yeah, therapists. Yeah. Yeah. Now that yeah. now that you've graduated from me, go up one yeah. floor, like that Bruce Lee movie, yeah. Game of yeah, Death. Yeah, you go yeah, up yeah, one yeah. floor to yeah. the higher therapist, and but then, get to the but, but then, then Igor goes to a male therapist and like imprints on him like a duckling. Yeah. he's like, "Are you my daddy yeah. now?" It's like I am the final therapist, and I am real and appropriate. That might be why I have to communicate with if I talk to dad. Anything you say, daddy. Anything you say. <laughs> My dad was some smug prick with fucking elbow patches on his jacket <laughs> who talked about pseudosciences all day and vague shit and asked me what I thought the problem was. <laughs> God damn it, that's you. Yeah. But no, the therapist guy that specializes in daddy issues cannot be a guy. Has to be a woman. I'm skeptical if any 45 year old man. What do I do for a living? I uh, help women with daddy <laughs> in a closed door with no cameras. It or sounds like I, a, that sounds like Beetlejuice being yeah. a therapist. You know, yeah. Michael Keaton. Yeah. <laughs> Let me help you out. We're right here with your uh, you uh, daddy, th- daddy issues. <laughs> you got daddy issues. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was thinking. This I was bottle stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Say daddy issues three times and I'll pop up. <laughs> and I'll cure up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm picturing more like Matthew McConaughey, you know? You know my favorite thing about these girl with daddy issues, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Not only do I keep having a good time, but most of them got insurance. (laughs) It's a whole whole thing, dude. I don't trust any guy with that profession. Did you say, uh, just real quick, do you think that every, like what percentage of women do you think have daddy issues? Hmm. You mean Mm. that I've been with? Just... Like what percentage? (laughs) Yeah, from, from your own gauge. I don't know. It's like maybe... Like one in fifteen? I don't know. Like, is that is maybe that's like a lowball estimate? I I don't know. It's I think that I I think people are just so messed up in general. It's like I don't know. You know, yeah, Yeah. it could be all intertwined into a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, it's just like taking a handful of darts and throwing them. It's like yeah, that's why I'm. Plus, also like a lot of people's problems stem from their parents, so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of childhood chat and therapy. Right, and then it's like, well, how much of it was? You're just your dad, and then also yeah, your yeah. mom. And it's because, like, was there other yeah. problems that was stemmed from that? And he just kind of made it. He just happened to be the guy who was there. I mean, yeah. basically, what I'm saying is, a lot of you young ladies can't take responsibilities for your own actions. <laughs> I just triggered all our listeners with daddy issues out there. That's right. Uh, um, yeah. But no, I would. I'm. I mean, I don't know that 15 percent sounds about right. But like. <laughs> I, I mean, like, like, I thought you said fifteen percent. One in fifteen. Oh, bro, I'm not so good at math. I'm not good like, at math. That's, like that's more like eight yeah, yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said fifteen percent. My bad. That's all right. 
And then, did you see yeah. Igor do the math and then me pretend that I did the same? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just cheated off his test, yeah, was, uh, <laughs> like, a, uh, 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 <laughs> like a stoner in high school. I just, <laughs> yeah, oh, this guy's smart, man. <laughs> yeah, with the glasses. Um, okay, so, uh, but I think, I think we answered that. Question, yes, well, I didn't give final advice. My okay. final advice would clearly be, and it's kind of funny because we had a running theme on the show last week of like people dating older people, and I did mention that the guys that I knew in their late thirties that would like date. Women in their like early twenties and late teens, not just a couple hookups or whatever. You, you know what I mean? But yeah. like, date, date, here's my girlfriend with the Hello Kitty back. And, like, yeah. those guys always fucking sucked. You know, like yeah. they were always there was something wrong with those guys. Again, not talking just short hookups, but the whole yeah, I'm just perpetually in relationship with women yeah. where we're and, and again, uh, the the age gap in terms of age appropriate, it spans as you get older. Yes, yes, thirteen years is not a huge difference once you're in your like forties, fifties. When yeah. you're talking twenty three to thirty six, it's it's a half a fucking lifetime yeah, in terms yeah. of yeah. you know mental maturity where you're at that kind of thing. Um, that said. I don't even know, man. I almost feel kind of bad for this fucking guy. Yeah. Who's, who's with her? And I'm like, dude, this sucks. It's it's because now he's just got to put up with, with this. It doesn't even sound like he's even that shitty a dude. From what we've heard, we haven't ha heard anything shitty about him. And, and I don't even think, I know I just said that was a huge gap, but it's not a huge enough gap to be like daddy issue level. So my thing is if you really want to rub it in your dad's face, Gotta get with a guy that's a little bit older. Yeah. Thirteen years. Yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. an older yeah. cousin issue at best. Yeah. That's not a daddy issue. Yeah. 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 You really yeah, you really gotta do some above. more work here. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, now that now that you're mid you're mid twenties, you, you gotta you gotta fuck a forty five year old at least. If I you mean, wanna just... piss him off, you gotta get in the fucking Yeah. yeah. Change He's change 60s. that age range on your bumble. You yeah. Bump that up a few. You think you're hurting him. He's laughing at you behind <laughs> oh his God. back, drunk at the bar with all the other shitty dads. As a future shitty father myself. I would be <laughs> high fiving this fucking guy while we did shot in the beers imagine, and laughing at you. Imagine your being back. a fifty year old and you just like swipe on a fucking twenty seven year old like this is not gonna happen. And yeah. then you get a uh -huh. message from the yeah, twenty seven year old like, oh, oh no my shit. god, there is a <laughs> lord up there. <laughs> yeah. Will you wear brute cologne? Like yes. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm behind on. Uh, I, I'm, I'm behind on some comments. Uh, Tim on YouTube says. Uh, daddy issues could be an emotional neglect. Like, oh, I, yeah. I read that one already. Yeah. Uh, Joel on YouTube says, I started doing roofing when my dad was building our house. I insisted on helping. He let me oh. on the roof and let me nail a, 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 a shingle or two. Oh. And it's a figured he fixed it. Yeah, that's good, man. Uh, yeah. Joel on YouTube says, one in 15. Should I use just for men in my beard or not? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, Suzanne. I need better numbers for that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Uh, well, perfect. I think we answered that question. I think we Let's answered that on one, too. To Let's move on uh, to everybody listening out there that's not on YouTube. Uh, watch us live on YouTube every single Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Like and subscribe as well, people. Don't forget to do that. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe. Uh, we are going to take our next question from the Wild Animals on Reddit. Next question. My best friend wants me to uninvite my friend who bullied her in college. Um... We're in our 20s and we work in the same industry. My childhood best friend, I'll call her H, is my maid of honor for my wedding. When cutting down the guest list this weekend, she recognized one of my guests' names, a friend that I've had for two years. I'll call her D. When uh, my first... Uh, HD. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you camera shaming us? Yeah. Who was... Uh, D was one of my first co-workers and turned out to be a great supportive friend. My childhood friend that this is, said that this is one of the people who bullied her in college. I don't know all the details, but they were in college together, and D and her cohort began bullying H and another student. They thought that they were in a relationship and lying about it, it to all of them, which was weird to bully someone because they were both straight, so it never made sense because... Yeah, I get. Anyway, I guess this turned out to yeah, be a I big thing. Yeah, I was confused about I, that. Yeah. I was like, did I read that? Right? I guess this turns into be a big thing of screenshots right here, and know. group chats, and uh, eventually the administration had to get involved, oh, and wow. D was told to knock it off. Flash forward to today, D is someone that I would have described as nice, kind, and couldn't imagine her doing that. I know people change, and we're all capable of growing and working on our mm. flaws, but that doesn't erase the harm that she caused before. Here's the issue. H wants D uninvited to my wedding. I have no problem doing that as I prioritize H since I've known her longer, but 
The problem is, how do I explain this to D? I don't want to put her on blast for something that she did years ago, especially if she's a good person now. I hate the idea of stirring up drama. So what do I do? Um, so yeah, so to give a quick synopsis, this chick's getting married. Her maid of honor recognizes one of the names from the guest list and is like, you can't invite her. She bullied me in college. Um, and uh, just, yeah, it said they're in their 20s, so we don't know. I mean, that could obviously be, um, you know, a big age get rage. Bullied in high school, right? No, co- oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, bullied getting bullied in college. college. Yes. I don't know. Some colleges are very small, so, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so She's now. She's a communications uh, major. Yeah, they're maybe. They're kind of, they're slow. Yeah. They're sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> But so they're now still the, <laughs> they're still learning yeah. geology and geometry, and <laughs> okay. uh, algebra, and algebra. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A plus B. One's an alphabet letter. We've gone over this with six years for you. What are you doing? Uh, but yeah, so now the maid of honor is saying to the bride, listen, you have to uninvite her from yeah. the wedding and uh, putting her foot down. And the bride is like, well, I mean, yeah, that makes sense, I guess, since you're my better friend. But how I does am. she go about that? You know, because what if D is sorry? What if D is, has gone into the confessional and said, yeah. father, for I have sinned. Yeah. And he said, "Listen, we're gonna we're gonna nickname you D, and you know why." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, she's so heterosexual. She's named D. Yeah. She loves but the D. I also yeah. do hate the the person writing this question, mostly because we always hate the people writing the question. <laughs> yeah, we but do. also the fact that she was like. I mean, they were straight, so it's weird that they made fun of. Oh, because it's okay to make fun yeah. of gay people. Like, yeah. what are you insinuating there? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I was confused. Oh, about at least whole if situation. they were like, like acting like they're gay, I could understand yeah. that yeah. bullying. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's fucked up. Well, so I, I'm, I'm confused about the bullying. So D thought that H was in a relationship with somebody else, or D and girl, her or? cohort thought her that cohort. H. Was in a relationship with a with a dude, and they oh, with a dude. and they made fun of they made fun of them for it, and Being that. Straight. But yeah, but it was like I guess screenshots again. You know who knows who this guy is? Maybe he was like a molester or something. Wait, so both D and H are both women, right? <laughs> right. And but then yeah. if 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 she thought that that H was in a relationship with a dude, I mean I don't see how gay comes into it even. No, right? I'm just saying that the person writing the question was like. She's basically saying she doesn't understand the bullying because they were straight people accused of having a relationship. The person oh, is, God. Watching, <laughs> oh, is saying, listen, right. if, if, they were, if they were calling D a lesbian, that I could get. Well, I, 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 that, I, I could I ra- that bullying it. I could wrap my head around. I thought it was, That's well, what she's saying, they were giving them shitty. shit because they thought that H was in a relationship with a woman, but it's like she's straight. She's yeah. totally not. That's yeah. what I oh, thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, too. Are you, are you sure it was a dude in the in the question? That they that they might have been in a relationship with, because yeah, they did. If, if so, that's even more out of left field. Like, what the fuck? Are you Wait, talking like about? like heterophobic bullying? So Strangely, like, so yeah. Like but it's like I guess I like guess the there's an argument yeah. that yeah, you could interpret it as yeah, they were they were gay or yeah. Anyway, it anyway. So, but that's really like a, I guess a side point, you yeah, know. But yeah, they yeah. they were bullied for. And being accused of, of being in a relationship. So the other day, this girl was bullying this other girl, and yeah. she sure. hasn't right. moved on from it. And she, yeah, and so now she's like saying, "You have to invite her for the wedding." I don't know. I almost feel like this to this me. Could be a good moment. Yeah, this to me is good like moment. the maid of honor's yeah, opportunity good. to like rise up. Like yeah. she's yeah. gonna be the maid of honor. Like she's gonna probably look great, mm-hmm. and she is gonna get to stand there and be like. Look, bitch. No one want you in your wedding. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Fuck you and oh. the rest of your softball team. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that does, shit's against the law. Does nah. every man in this congregation want to fuck me? Yeah, because I'm the maid of honor, bitch. <laughs> you know, whereas like D's gonna be sat in the back row, you know, throwing a bag of rice, being like, I hope it's me one day. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, she's yeah, not, yeah. <laughs> she's you know, like, I'm not even a lesbian, y'all. <laughs> like, I just feel. Gonna be. I feel like this I don't is, even know why that came in there. I still. feel like this is the opportunity for the maid of honor to get yeah. over the bullying and also like weddings is you know it's fun just get drunk and it's not like you they'd be sat at the same table anyway like what are you gonna like sit there and like stare at her i just feel like yeah i feel like she should and also i think it's you know i get like being like oh you can't invite her but 
it's just again. Just, She's I think this invited. is her opportunity it's to not grow. Her wedding. Yeah, yeah, it's and not her it's her wedding. Yeah, no shit. And, and Why are you throwing demands around at the fucking yeah. bride? Yeah. yeah. You ever? I hope Bridezilla bites your fucking lady <laughs> off. Yeah. You, you fucking stooge. I hate you. Maybe D has daddy issues. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. what the D stands for. Uh huh. And this is, you know, she was a terrible person in college because she was dating a 54-year-old and she hey, said... nothing wrong against 54-year-olds. Yeah. yeah, that's true, actually. I don't know. I mean, unless they're both the same gender. Am I right? Yeah, I'm siding with the person writing the question. <laughs> <laughs> no gay stuff in this question. <laughs> um, Still confused why the homophobia yeah. came into that. I'm so fucking baffled by that. Yeah, I, like I said, actually, the more I read this, it could be... I had interpreted... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. They were, it was bullied. Yep. So, but I mean, so do you guys think that? I mean, do you think that the the bride should listen to her? I well, think you know it would be good. You know, they have a bridal sh- like the thing, the party right before. Yeah. They should do it, and they should all not say that they're gonna go, but none of them should go except for those two, and that'll force them to like. Oh, you know, and then the bride's gonna mediate. be there with a get along shirt. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. like, you guys aren't leaving this party until you yep. get along. Yeah. Yeah. Either 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 a get along shirt or. You tape their hands together with tape one hand, but then the other hand knife. gets a, a, a knife, right? Yeah. And, you, and you play Michael Jackson's yeah. beat. <laughs> they told you, don't you ever come around here. And, and you just start stabbing oh, each other. A less violent uh, yeah. idea is, yes, definitely just the two of less them in a party. Violent. Yeah. But they and they have to sit there and they can't and then you play Edward Forty hands you know where you What's, tape um, yeah. like, you oh. tape tape forties to your hands I think it's a good idea too oh, we definitely have to have stuff so taped to hands they We're can't leave down. until they you know figure yeah. it out so either uh-huh. they're gonna get drunk and fight it out or they'll yeah. just get That's drunk good. and talk it out dude and break the bottle and you stab each other <laughs> yeah. 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 slightly less yeah, violent than Jake's idea I'm gay I'm it's, not yeah. <laughs> it may end the same but only if it goes horribly wrong this Edward Forty hands game because like two little brides maids drinking drinking two four eggs each they're gonna get drunk Yo. as fuck yeah. it's, it, dude it's not like my aging alcoholic fat ass drinking two forties I'll still be able to drive uh, home yeah, after yeah, that yeah. but like these girls are gonna be wasted yeah. you're picking up hitchhikers yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah I'm dude I'm driving other drunk people home I'm like listen you look a little too fucked up I only got two forties you, you come <laughs> with me <laughs> I'm driving you but yeah, they're they're gonna be wasted. It's either gonna go really well or really not well. But I think you should definitely film it yeah. and send it into the Love Gurus podcast. You know, that's yeah. for sure. Do it. Also, because these, because these these people are in their twenties, I'm sure that this is like a big wedding. Mm, you know, if yeah. it was a yeah. wedding where there were like, you know, because the older you get, you know, the less people you want to invite, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. t- typically. And so I feel like if it was if it was a wedding where there's literally only ten people invited, no, right. okay. I mean, there's you know that might get uncomfortable. You know, you're all sat around the same table at Applebee's. Know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But if this is what I'm picturing, it's like it's not even gonna matter again. You're gonna get lost in the sauce. Yeah, she's yeah. gonna have this opportunity to just, just grow from her experience. So, so this is coming from the bride, correct? Yeah. Um. So what do you think? Do you think that? She, also, it's like her wedding. Do you think she has to take on this other? duty of like all right let's try to mend this relationship yeah no shit that's a lot to put on somebody yeah. who's like, getting married I be- I, i'm glad you said that because i don't think it's too much to just say look i'm gonna text d and tell her that you're not you know j- coolly say that you're not over it yet and that it's her responsibility you know here's her number it's her responsibility to reach out to the yes. of honor and either apologize and give her that opportunity, because then if D apologizes, okay, great, like let's I think it's let's fair. build yeah. some bridges. But if D doubles down, and that's why she's called D, then fuck her. Like definitely, <laughs> definitely don't invite her to the wedding. Oh, uh, Amy on YouTube says, "I want a friend with an A, so I can call them ADHD." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joel on YouTube says, "Don't uninvite D." Hook her up with the groom's friend, C. Oh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> D and C. C. <laughs> <laughs> Joel on YouTube says, sorry for the, the birthing, Jake. Not really sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joel, on, I don't know. Joel on YouTube says, God damn, I'm so old that I remember when the bullying was called peer pressure. Damn, <laughs> I need some Boone's Farm or MD 2020. Dude, oh, Boone's MD Farm. 20? <laughs> 20. It's a mad dog. Uh, Amy on YouTube says, would it really be a wedding if everyone liked and actually talked to each other? Yes! (laughs) Those are the worst weddings. They're so boring. You need gossip. Yep, yep. Joel on YouTube says, uh, not from my experiences, Amy. (laughs) 
<laughs> Joanna YouTube says, you ask a bride to uninvite, this person has never been married. <laughs> um, she says, I dare her to throw a wedding. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't the bride have shit to do? Yeah, yeah dude. Like, I mean, I can tell you somebody who got married last year. I mean, I didn't do shit because I was a groom. But like my wife, <laughs> she was busy all the fucking time for like oh, yeah. six months. I was before. tired watching her. Dude, she was driving me crazy with these questions. Right. You know nag, what I mean? Nag, hey, what kind of, what's your colors? I'm the like, colors? Caucasian? What? <laughs> you know? Like, I didn't know. I don't know what the fuck she was talking about. I'm, I'm like, why is it white. racial? What are your pronouns, <laughs> you know? Jake? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what do you want them to be? Jesus Christ with these weddings questions i mean it exhausted me just being around that energy yeah. so like i can only imagine if some friend of hers was like actually five years ago when i was in kappa delta sky yeah. <laughs> uh this lady thought i was a lesbian and it was one of these homophobic places that still has those uh, uh what wh what do they call them the the ad adrenochrome parties or whatever the fuck um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ones no not the ones where they drink blood I'm I'm the the fucking the parties down I don't even remember but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joanna YouTube says I like how we all just got silent we're like he's never gonna get there <laughs> nah, the but I love the journey <laughs> you ever you ever just start something and you're like I'm I'm going for a reference oh, all the where time. I totally remember the word <laughs> yeah. and then like, you're like wait a minute. I've had half a bottle of Creos <laughs> Pinot Grigio, uh, the official wine of not remembering what the hell the name of those. What are the things were. that that gay men stick up their ass? Dicks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, bro. I uh, I've seen one of them poppers? movies. Alex, poppers. Alex, what? No, what are, what are penises? Oh, oh, they do, they do. do they? No, poppers oh. is no, uh, poppers. You put it. In you snort it. Right. Yeah, yeah. You sniff it. And oh. and uh, for all you listeners wow, out there, I've been doing it all wrong. Take. <laughs> <laughs> When's this gonna kick in? I don't know. Actually, dude, it probably get you fucked up if you dump that stuff up your ass. But it basically. It's just a little tiny bottle right. of like, uh, almost smells like nail finger polish remover, okay. but like stronger. And what it is, is you sniff it and it gets you high a bit. And you, you know, like you well, can get you high. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Mm. It's sort of like doing whippets a bit, oh, okay. you know, but it doesn't quite get you as high as doing like a, like a whippet or yeah, like yeah, a yeah. hit of nitrous oxide. It's kind of like that, but it, it gets you high, gets you lightheaded, mm. uh, feels good when you're fucking or so I've heard. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh. I've heard that that gay guys especially like it because not only does it make you high, but it loosens your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Can you guys hear me, by the way? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Goddamn, I really <laughs> sounded like I just directed an entire gay porn right the fuck yeah. before this podcast. <laughs> I really knew way too much about poppers, but yeah, that's um, yeah. that's how poppers. Also, you just you're just kicking this can down the road. Like this person's obviously like a new friend versus an old friend, so it's like you're gonna yeah. have to meet at some point. Also, yeah. I'm proud of myself for giving such an accurate description of how poppers are used and when, where to get them, and what to as do with them. As a straight man, a, yes, as yeah. a straight man during a homophobic Ally. question. So yeah. I, yeah, dude, it was, it was this almost is, medical. Yeah. Yeah, any yeah. fucking asshole can retweet the right hashtag, all right? This is an ally in the trenches. This <laughs> is an ally in the fucking trenches storming Normandy. They're putting okay? Jake's name at the fucking list at Stonewall uh -huh. as we speak. Yeah, uh -huh. I should have my own booth at that fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> After that accurate poppers. description. Get your poppers yeah. here. I just I just randomly pulled that description of poppers out of my ass, no pun intended. Hey. And, and that's, that's better out than any straight guy's ever going to do. Right. <laughs> um, okay, so final advice. So yeah, so my final advice for this bride is yeah send a text give d the opportunity to apologize if she doesn't then you know then yeah maybe she is kind of a shitty person what do you guys think what's what's your final advice just fucking get married uh, yeah. uh, just don't just do don't you. even listen to him I, I think you should also just i think she should be like listen you're putting me in a really awkward position do i mean like you know do the thing because it, it puts less pressure on you as a bride yeah but also just be like hey you're kind of being a fucking little baby about this yeah you know what i would do i would send her a youtube link of um guided meditation and oh, just say, oh yeah figure it out yeah <laughs> just do that take three deep breaths <laughs> into some poppers and yeah, then go fuck yourself saying, <laughs> that's right some, here's some poppers take yeah. some of those <laughs> loosen your tight ass bitch <laughs> My friends at Stonewall said this is good for <laughs> loosening tight sphincters also, like yourself. Stop being homophobic, you <laughs> jerk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Uh, you think that lady was gay in college? Wait till you see the place I got these poppers from. <laughs> <up>. My God. <laughs> All right. What other? What Can't other? even walk in that place without slipping on lube. <laughs> I tell you. What? Uh, what other final advice? 
Uh, well, I the Joy thing the is, wedding. Is, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it, because it's it's f- forgive me, uh, but uh, for forgetting, but it's it's the lady who's getting married writing a question, right? Yes, it's. Yeah, this is fucking crazy. So you can obviously the the only good thing to do, unless your friend gives you very very overwhelming evidence of shit that this lady did wrong, which it doesn't seem like she did, you gotta fucking just put it on her and be like, listen, this is my wedding. Fuck off. I mean, not even like that, but just be like, hey, sit down with her. I want to sit down with you because I care about you a lot. I care about her a lot. I don't know what she was like in college where she was apparently uh, the, 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 the villain in a, a fucking 90s college movie. You know, mm. I, I don't know. Like, I didn't know her when she was the queen of Mean Girls. But, like, I as a receptionist, she's pretty fucking cool. So, like, maybe <laughs> sit down with her now and we'll be okay. Yeah. If not, I say just spring it on her. I, I mean, maybe not at the wedding reception, but like, hey, come to the bar, sit down, yeah. have some drinks. Oh, it's homophobic Tina. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. You've, you've been living in Chelsea for the last five years. So you're not homophobic at all anymore. Yeah. And you certainly wouldn't bully somebody for sleeping with a woman or sleeping with a man, which it seems like she might have bullied her in homophobic ways for sleeping with a guy, which just sounds weird. Like, that's a whole nother <laughs> level of homophobic. Like, you slept with Gary? He dresses queer. You're a lesbian. You know, it's like I don't even know. I don't know how that works. Yeah. What if like, the what if the bully's closeted this whole time and that's why she's bullying oh yeah. her friend? Yeah, yeah. it could she's be like projecting. Yeah, yeah. This, I've I, ah. I, I've heard I've heard about that. Ooh. This could be a real Michelle Bachman's husband type of situation. <laughs> yeah. that I, onto. I don't know. So uh, just uh, I guess yeah. Step one: stop being homophobic. Step two. Uh, if that is the case, it was a weird thing to throw in. Oh my maybe God. You were... What if she secretly has a crush on her? Oh man. Do you, does anybody, oh my God, that's what I did. The girl. Is there any yeah. reason these two should not be wet? <laughs> <laughs> Speak now or forever. Yeah. And she's up there with a crew cut, just I'm... banging on that glass. <laughs> <laughs> I want Linda. the bride of, uh, yeah. bridesmaid. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Well, I think we answered that question. Um, let's do one more question. All yeah. right. Last question on the Love Gurus Podcast. People, if you've got any questions to write in, write them to Love Gurus Podcast at Yahoo.com. Or even better, uh, listen live every single Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Ask your questions. Get your comments in the comment section. And like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Do it. Do it now. Last question from the Wild Animals on Reddit. Last question. I'm worried that I hurt my brother because I was clearly surprised by his transgender girlfriend. I'm 27 and my brother is 20 uh, is 24. We live together. We've lived together for four years and he's been my biggest supporter and best brother. A few weeks ago, he told me that he started dating a girl and I was super excited because he's and never had a speech from the best before. brother. <laughs> he didn't tell uh, me a whole lot about her aside from that. She's gorgeous, smart and very kind. And he seemed a little apprehensive for me to meet her. I kept telling him that I'd love to meet her and he should really have her over. So he finally agreed. She came over tonight and I was a little caught off guard because she's transgender. I'm so happy that they have each other, but I wasn't expecting it. I was trying to act normally, but I probably did come off as surprised. She didn't seem to care at all or was bothered by it, but I actually it, we actually had a great conversation. She's very funny and level-headed, and she seems like a lovely person. So I feel great she's knowing that my brother's in good bad. hands. Yeah. Honestly, hope he brings her over more. However, my brother seemed very nervous and on edge throughout the night and kept looking at me, and I'm worried that he was hurt or upset at my reaction. After he left, I told him that he was a very lucky guy and she seemed like a great catch. I do still feel bad, though, as I'm worried that I made my brother self-conscious and made him feel like I don't support him. Should I apologize to him or at least try and talk about it with him? This, this is a beautiful question. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So it's, and, Polar so opposite it's, of the last one. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't know why yeah. she's bullying her. She's not even gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow. So, yeah. it's, yeah. And, and to be clear, it's a it's a female writing the question. Yeah. I, you know, so it's brother and sister uh, that okay. live together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The brother started dating um, someone who's trans, and the sister was surprised by it. And so she feels like maybe her brother was, like, a little weird about it. I don't know. I honestly think, like, first of all, I think it's weird as hell. For a brother and a sister to live together for four years, like yeah. that's, that's to there. me yeah. as as as, as, adults, as, yeah. as adults, I should clarify. Uh-huh. Yeah. So if you've lived with your sibling for four years as an adult, like I just think that's like it's like 
almost like a weird incestuous like intimate relationship i'm not saying they're having sex but it's weird so honestly, I feel like the fact that the 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 um, the well, woman he's dating I wasn't is, acting weird because she's trans. I, it was acting weird. She looks just like me with a dick. Yeah. Like you realize yes, that she's wearing yes. my same shirts. That's what and I'm everything. saying. I don't even think it, the the fact that the girlfriend is trans. I don't think that's the issue at all. I think the brother was just weird because first of all, it's his first girlfriend, and he's bringing her over to this like yeah. weird relationship. And he, it's like he brought his partner over, and for the first time, he was like, whoa. I'm living a pretty fucked up life. Like it was like yeah. front and center <laughs> that it's weird that he poops while his sister showers. You know, like that's what I, that's yeah. the vibe sure. I got. And that's probably why the brother was uncomfortable. I can either live in a community that's cool with incest or live in a community that's cool with me sleeping with trans women. <laughs> <laughs> Rarely ever do those two things cross yeah. over. Yeah. This, is, this is a tough thing. This is my two favorite things. I want, I want to be in the is... middle of that <laughs> Venn diagram. <laughs> yeah. I want a banjo with a rainbow on it. God damn it. <laughs> That's like when you invite someone over and you you haven't invited someone over in such a long time and then you do and then you see your place through their eyes. Yes. Yeah. Like, go, yeah. What the fuck am I living in? Or even know? like on a less um uh on a less scale, like you you know, you're for the first time like, Oh, I'm kind of a slob or you know, it's yeah. like that, but it's like, yeah, I just think that the brother it could have he could have brought home anyone and yeah. You know, whatever, like, and it's, and it, it still would have been like, oh my God, like, this is really, I need to like fucking get on with my life and do something better than living with my older sister in this weird relationship where I shave her legs at night. You know, like that. <laughs> well, like, it also sounded like this whole time, it's all from the, from the sister's point of view. It's just like, oh, like, well, you know, my brother's dating this trans woman. And it's like, how funny would it be if it's like, she's not trans. <laughs> she's, 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 like, she's not she trans. never even said she was yeah she just th- like, the, like the sister thinks she is and the brother's just like nervous because it is his first girlfriend and yeah. he's like trying to make a good you know like yeah, hope yeah. that his sister likes her and stuff and then she's like it's she's okay she's like oh my god Christina was so great she's so wonderful <laughs> I'm totally and then okay the mom is this. and then yeah <laughs> and the brother's like, like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> what <laughs> yeah I just hope this woman is just like a total cisgender woman that just, you know, has a bit of broad shoulders yeah. and a bit of bit Sweat. of a big jaw. Yeah. And this sister just keeps thinking she's trans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just having a girl's night out at one point. Yeah. And she's just going, listen, I know that it must be tough for y'all's people in this here community. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> because we're not always the most open minded yeah. to y'all to y'all's people. You know? Not me and though. I just want I, yeah, not I'm cool. Though. I'm cool with it. Um I, yeah, I just want you to know I love you like a sister, and you are a sister to me. <laughs> you okay, got my I don't support. care what any of these people say. Okay, <laughs> how big is your dick? How big is your dick? <laughs> and it's just a whole, yeah. it's a whole thing. Yeah, it's but yeah. I think I don't know. For me, it's it's to the point where like, I, like I if you're seeing someone, it's like don't even try to. To, to label, you know, because I'm going to, I'm going to, you know what I mean? First of all, like, it doesn't really matter. So it's like, yeah, why is she trying to, like, dissect yeah. what her brother's, this is why I think it's an inappropriate brother relationship, yeah. because yeah. she's already thinking about her brother's partner's genitals. Like, that's what she's focused on. Mm. Yeah, it's, she's it's like, a little out there. Oh, my yeah. God, my brother is, like, <laughs> touching a penis. Whatever. Uh-huh. Like, you know, I, I you know, I'm, I'm just saying, like. She's very concerned about her brother's partner's genitals, and yeah. I think that's the root of the issue. It doesn't yeah. matter what those genitals are. <laughs> also, did she say anything in this question about her brother saying anything to lead her to think that he was he was uncomfortable with the way she was acting or, or anything like that? No, she just she just said my brother seemed very nervous and oh. on edge throughout uh, the night and kept looking kind of at telling. me. And so yeah, maybe the is this okay? Is this okay that I see other yeah. people? Yeah. I know we didn't yeah. have the talk. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't I officially you did. break it off. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head there. This is weird brother and sister shit. <laughs> yeah. A lot of unknowns. Lot of, like, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Because the thing is, is she's really trying to. Uh, we just watched the cat just jump up on on the the little air conditioner thing that he brought out. Oh, baby. Summer, he's not used to jumping on that thing anymore. Plus, he's like old and shit. You know. Yeah. But uh, oh, is he gonna? Speaking lock, of getaway, okay. is he gonna knock the lights over? Is he gonna knock the lights over? Oh, no, he didn't do it. Oh, great job, oh, Jack! Yeah, because he's fucking cat, nimble. He's a cat. Like transphobia is where I'm out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, I've switched my gender six times since I've been seven. I don't <laughs> yeah, but I um yeah I, I I think 
when they when they leave out details, we try to point this out at least once an episode. Ah, yes. I try to err against the person writing the question in most cases. When in doubt, because A, these are questions from Reddit. These people are animals. B, these questions are their propaganda that's by foreign about them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's their Fox News, their mm -hmm, mm -hmm. MSNBC, their North Korean state run news if they happen to be running the whole world, right? Or the whole country, rather. And so when they leave out important details, because her whole thing is convincing us that her brother had a problem with it. But it's not. We're just getting, well, he seemed. Yeah, yeah, Well, yeah. he looked at me. Yeah. It's like, what, as opposed to not making eye contact with you? Yeah. Like, what yeah, are you, yeah, yeah. what are you talking about? It wasn't like. A lot of projecting. Like, you, right. A lot of projecting. And so I, I think it. she's mad that some trans lady's pegging her brother and not her. You know? Yeah. And it's, mm. I, there's some weird brother and sister shit going on with that. Yeah. And she's on Reddit like, oh my gosh, like, guys, look how, like, great I am. Yeah. Yeah. People. Uh -huh. Um, should I like have a conversation with my brother about it? It's like you're just yeah. kind of upset that like your boyfriend is cheating. <laughs> you ever seen uh, <laughs> you ever seen uh you ever seen Joe Dirt? Mm -hmm. a, long a long time, time ago, ago. yeah. It's been he, a while. You ever remember the part where he's like fucking the girl who kinda looks like his sister? <laughs> he's like, You're not my sister, you're not my sister, you're not my sister, and then they go back there's like, like, Is everything okay, Joe? It's like ah. Uh, you know, it just wasn't the same as it usually is. And, <laughs> and then go back to have to say, you are my sister. You are yeah. my sister. You are my sister. <laughs> have you guys ever, have, uh, I've met several couples like throughout the years that um, they'll look very similar. Like they'll mm. look like brother and yeah, sister, yeah, which yeah. makes sense because if someone looks like you, you're probably going to be like, wow, that person's actually pretty good looking. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, and then, yeah. like, like there was definitely like this couple in college. I mean, they obviously like broke up, you know, in college, but I mean, they were, I, I mean, they, they 100% looked like brother and sister and then they would like kiss in public and everyone's like, ah! <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I got that same thing going on. My wife looks more like Steve Buscemi than I do. Um, <laughs> it's, people give us all kinds of she funny She does ones. not. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever think it'll be acceptable in our society to be with a sibling? Um, nah, dude. Uh, ever because that's that's no. not just a matter of like, hey, man, that's how I identify and that's how I feel. This is what I like. This is like, there's there's a legit like, okay, this causes yeah the kids mentally well, defective, no, like like not just little things. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, well, like I want my kid to have web toes. Honestly, I want him to be able to swim good. You know, if that's all we were looking but at, is yeah. your like is your question like yeah? Because obviously, there's like the procreation part of it that is like not okay, right? But so even if yeah, it got to the point of like okay, like you know, <laughs> we want to have children. Sibling, yeah, siblings yeah. are like okay, well, we'll adopt or whatever. Yeah, but no, I still think it's like it borderlines on that like abusive like. Right. You know, that it's. I mean, yeah. it, it still is just like abusive in right. one in in some way. I, Although that I'm not asking for me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Your sisters are watching this, like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, because I think that to be fair, I did sound like a homophobic pastor from the 1950s with that argument. You know what I mean? Of like, what about the children? It's about procreation. Like, I, no, I mean, but but the thing is, is like. With, like, a gay couple, trans couple, like, whatever, uh, uh, it's not really possible for them to have sex together. You, you know what I mean? And then procreate. So you're not looking at uh, at, at severely disabled kids right. from you guys fucking. Also, you know? incest, like, that's the difference. Incest is so lazy. You can't even step yeah. outside yeah. your immediate circle to meet someone. <laughs> Couldn't even go outside. God. Girl, you lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't even you crawl lazy. out from you the bottom of that your bunk. Brother, bed. you lazy bitch. Yeah. 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 No, I think I think like mentally, like there's something like just abusive about okay. it. So like I yep. yeah, so yeah, I, I agree Igor, too. Just remember that. I agree too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I, oh, what, I'm oh, I'm so, I'm go ahead. I'm yeah. uh, behind on a few comments here. Uh, Joanne on YouTube, I think this is from the last question. It says, sacrifice the maid of honor at the wedding. Yeah. Yes! 100%. Dude, this maid oh, of honor sucks. Oh, that's great. Dude, she sucks. Yeah. It's turned this <laughs> into, I want the, I want the, the, this woman's wedding looking like the red wedding from Game of Thrones. Looking yes. like the last scene in Carrie. And the girl gets to step, come in and stab her. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Oh my God. It's, yeah. The bully. They, they, Comes yeah, back and, in. Uh -huh. Uh huh. You didn't even see this coming. Right, and she's <laughs> she's giving the speech, and people see the bully just just walking yeah. up in the background. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? With a knife and just crack, crack right in the sides. You know. Yeah. But they've all gotten that on the wedding invitation. They were like, "By the way, my maid of honor uh, is a bit of a cunt, and we're going to sacrifice her." It's going to be very his... short, uh -huh. still open bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 
They're going to be uh, handing out PVC pipe shanks. <laughs> <laughs> we want to have a Roman themed wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Joel on YouTube says, uh, send the maid of honor to the bachelor party. <laughs> Uh, she'll be too worn out to show up to the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> he oh, says, oh, uh, I hate uh, it, th this, I believe, is about this question. He says, yeah. o OMG, she's not trans. She just has a strong jawline. Uh, Hell yeah. Joanne on YouTube says, uh, only with <laughs> only with Joel. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. Just kidding. Uh, you know, my sister slash wife. <laughs> uh, Joel said, my sister can do it, but my wife can't. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, my, my final advice to this this person is, uh, step number one, move out of the apartment or house that you're living in with your brother. Uh, and you guys should separate. And step two, um, leave him alone. Leave him alone and let him live his life. To You know, quit this, like, I don't know, like this caped crusade that you're on. You're terrible. It's always, that's, <laughs> it's my, so... I don't know if this relates, but my my mom gets so like she gets so mean about my my sister's husband. Mm -hmm. She's just like he's this, he's that, he's this, and at the end, of, and I'm always like he makes her happy. <laughs> I know he's a fucking numb nuts, but I don't give a shit. All he all I care about is that she's happy with him, and that's all you should care about. It's insane yeah. what they're like, but this quality and that quality, like who cares? Like. He's not a drug addict. He doesn't beat her. He's not an alcoholic. He's, he's it, like not all the like all the huge red flags. He's none of those. He makes her happy. Just fucking be satisfied with oh, that. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just be happy. Um what other final advice do we have? I think you should um a lot of people bring fantasies in their head. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I don't know so if I, I like where this is I going. Want, I want to know where this is going. I think you should see it through just to realize that your brother is really not that great of a guy. You should have sex with your brother. Just that's to realize sex. that there's nothing with there. Your brother. I, I saw that episode of Oprah where where, where Dr. Phil was trying to get the brother and sister. I know it ain't good to have incestuous relationships, but sometimes the only way out of a storm is through it. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta you gotta cut that sexual tension in that apartment. Yeah, and that could be everything. What if like the brother's like, wait a minute, you don't have a penis? I'm not attracted to you, and that's it. Maybe. Yeah. I want well, why don't I want you, sis? Not because of the incest thing, but it's because your clitoris is too small. <laughs> <laughs> You're hung like a goddamn lady. <laughs> Joel on YouTube says, uh, "Is it sad that?" At the Love Gurus podcast is the highlight of my week. No! Or does it show that I have excellent taste in entertainment? Excellent, excellent, taste. excellent fucking taste. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah my, my, my final advice would be um, uh, fuck your brother metaphorically, but fuck his girlfriend literally. Uh, oh. She's got a big dick. Ew. You know, go, go, go bang his girlfriend. Be really like, oh, you, you, you think you're getting funny looks for what you did tonight. Wait till you see what I'm doing tomorrow. Yeah. And, 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 and let him walk in on you. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Perfect. It's, all, it's a whole thing. Well, I think we answered that question. I think yes. we answered all these questions doubly good this week. We did. We doubly good answered the shit out of those questions. Yeah. Thank you we so much. those questions. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to all the listeners out there. Thank you to our two amazing guests. Thank you to Igor Martinez. Thank you to Natan Badalov. And thank you to the listeners, yeah. man. Thank you to everybody in the chats on YouTube this week. Thank you to Joel on YouTube, to Joanne, to Amy, to Tim, to John. Until next week, like and subscribe out there. Like and subscribe. Check us out live.